today, I want to talk about where are your ideal customers hiding? So there's a few things that I do and that I've been doing to really get a better understanding of where I should be online to optimize my connections with the right folks, right? Whether it be a collaboration of some sort or a potential client, whatever the case may be, right? So here's a few things that I want you to pay attention to, okay? What sites, what websites do your ideal clients visit often? How do we figure that out? Well, have you asked previous customers? What sites do they go to on a regular? They may have nothing to do with your business whatsoever, but having this insight is so important. It's a conversation starter, period. It's as simple as that. So getting that understanding is going to help you build that relationship and build that connection. The next thing I want to ask you is this. What groups, what Facebook groups, what LinkedIn groups are they hanging out in? Let's find 10 or 15. Okay, let's get out there and start putting our research helmets on. Or if you don't have the time, go find somebody to help you do this. And start making a list of these groups. What influencers do your potential customers follow? I would write down at least 10 to 20 of these guys and gals. And start following them. Start following them immediately. What podcasts do, you, do your ideal customers listen to? If they listen to podcasts at all but it's 2020, I'm pretty sure they're listening to at least one. I want you to write down 15 or 20 of those. What email lists are they subscribed to? Curious to know that, because I want you to subscribe to those lists as well. I want you to pay attention to the interests of your ideal customer, customers, customers, This is what's going to make you relevant and stay top of mind because when you start to put out your marketing and you start to talk about these things, about these people, about these sites, about these podcasts, their ears are going to perk up because your potential customer is going to say, who's this person? And how do they know so much of my interests? I feel like I could be their friend. I feel like there's somebody that I can have in my circle. Okay, we're not done yet. Do they, do they read blogs? And if they do, what blogs do they read? Are you subscribing to those blogs? What about YouTube channels? What YouTube channels do they gravitate towards over and over and over again? What are they watching? Jot down those channels. I want you to pull at least 10 to 15 of those. Okay. Then the other thing that uh, I want you to think about is what are the keywords that they're typing in to Google? Now, here's a pretty cool thing. So I've had this software now for, oh my God, probably close to seven or eight years, but it's called Fresh Key. If you just Google it, you'll, sh you'll, you'll, it'll show up Fresh Key. Basically, what this is, is it's a software that you, you can plug in key phrases or key words, and it will show you the rankings on all the different search engines. So it'll give you the ranking for YouTube, Google. Uh, there's a bunch of them. Uh, and, but basically, what it also does, which is really cool, is if you type in a keyword, it's going to spit out all these other keywords that relate to the keyword that you typed in. And here's a little bonus tip. Type in how to and then the keyword and watch what shows up. It's going to give you a lot of ideas. Copy and paste one of those keywords and key phrases into Google and watch what pops up. You may find some really cool articles that you dive into 
And hell, you might find a little piece of content that you could repurpose or create a piece of content on your own around it. And now you're creating relevant content for your potential customer. Okay, so we need to figure out where our audiences is hanging are is hanging out, and I gave you quite a few ideas here to go out and start scouting and start to do this research because this is going to help you put out relevant content and really help you start to make that connection between your brand and your potential customers and your audience. And then in another episode, I'll share with you how to take this a step further and actually start to make those connections and, 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 and mold those connections together and start generating some real serious leads into your business. So go out there, you got some homework to do guys, get out there and start understanding your customers a little bit more and where they're hiding. So you can become the obvious choice for them. Take care, guys. I'll catch you on the next episode.